Thank you. Um, Ms. Calhoun, you, you, you referenced um, town staff told you that there was a issue with the lighting in your bathroom or there was an issue with your, your bathtub. Um, who on town staff told you that? Yeah, um, we the first there was three guys that came out. I don't know the other two guys' names, but it's we've been working with Dan, um, or Dan or Dave. <laughs> I believe it's Dan, but um, he knows me. He's been out a couple times. Okay. Um, and we just agreed our last time to just. I don't want to hear his numbers. I just want. Like I, the numbers he's showing me, pH, turbidity, whatever, is within the range. Mm -hmm. But I can see with my eyes that something's not right. So those three results aside, I just said, you can go with those and I'm going to just Google because that's all I have left. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. I was just, I was just, yeah. just inquiring on that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, Jack Weller. Okay. Thought you were going to give us a break, man. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda Snedger. Hello, I'm Amanda Snedger. I reside at 126 East Main Street. Pretty much Miss Callahan. She said everything I have to say. My only question is, is I seem to be the only person at the opposite end of town complaining of brown water. I live on 126 East Main. Everyone's complaining. Um, West Main and up. Is there possibly another leak going on somewhere? Um, could it be the construction that possibly cracked a line somewhere? Why is my water brown? And I haven't had nobody come to my house and ask me any questions. All I get is flush your lines. Okay. okay. Who told you to flush? Did you call town? I don't know if this, I've this is emailed. working. Okay, you emailed town staff and yes, that was the Yes, and it's just to you. Flush, flush the lines. I'm following everyone's orders. Okay. I ran my water um, on the second for four hours. Wow, had to go clear. take a shower at my sister's because my water didn't clear up. Oh. It stayed brown. Okay. Um, are you still <laughs> interested in seeing town staff coming to your home? Uh, sure. If someone would okay. like to come test our water. Or Is it still brown? Um, I haven't checked it today. I haven't been home. Well, uh, if you, you know, that's my problem. Sometimes there's days I get home at 4 30, 7 30. I'm constantly working. And by the time you get home and check it, you guys are all gone. Right. So if you'll do me a favor and check it and then just email us and then we'll try to make arrangements to get out. If you still have brown water, we'll try to get, make arrangements to get out there when I've you're there. Emailed photos of the discolored water. Okay. Can you give staff your address? I have it. You have it? Mm -hmm. Main Street, correct. Is, is there anyone in particular saying just to flush the lines, or is it just like a general email from town office? It's just the email. Um, I've even followed the, you know, the response on the um, water page to flush your cold water and sure. continuously four hours the other day, just enough to turn the water off to let the tub catch up. And again, sort of the timeline question that was asked earlier related to Ms. Calhoun and the Brookfield, uh, new construction versus bottom line. How long ago did you notice this starting? Started back in November. Of this year, correct? Uh, sorry, of 2019, uh, pardon me. Yes, okay. 2019. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. And the black marks on the tub, I can second that. When mm -hmm. you go to clean your tub, it just smears. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Alejandro. 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 Kenyatos. <laughs> Kenyatos. Hi. This is for the water report. Yes. Um, my name is uh, Dr. Alejandro Cañadas. I'm professor of economics at Mount St. Mary's University. Um, I would like to follow up a few things that you have said about the, the water. Um, and some, some of you have mentioned the communication. Um, something that I think is very, very important for everyone living here in Emesburg is to know if the water is safe. We have kids, we have pets, we have each one of us, we are human beings, and especially thinking about our kids and schools around here, the, the kids ask, can we drink the water? We start classes again, right? We have, what, what is the rest of the, the, the year? So, and I really appreciate all the work that you 
are doing, trying to solve this problem. So something that uh, I think is very important is, are you communicating these things? Um, and the most important thing is, how safe is our water? For all of us who have brown water, right, we are very concerned. Some of us, maybe we have kind of clean water, but we are not, we don't want to drink that water, right? So what is safe? What, what Which are the limits, right, of uh, safe versus not safe? So I think that we should know more about that. Which are the limits? W how you are testing the water? Um, one question that I have uh, is that that is about your communication and how you are telling us that, this, that the water is safe. The second one is what what is the cost of testing the water? The last one, if um, you said, was in June of last year, because of this problem. Are you going to do it again next uh, this coming June? Is enough? Um, that is the public one that we can see online, right? But who cares what happened last June after what, what is going on right now? Is any plan to do other testing sooner? I've been talking to other professors in the science department at Mount St. Mary's University. Have you talked to anyone at the Mount that maybe we can help from the science department? Can we uh, create um, a program or a plan to do uh, with people in, in the science, in the labs over there, that we can have samples from the uh, different parts of Emmitsburg. So these are questions that I, I don't know, right? So I, I would like to know what are your thoughts about that? But I'm very, very concerned about the reports, costs, and if something that is, we can do it more, um, why not? And if there are other, pro, uh, other plans of doing this testing with other independents, and we have the, the, the university here, right? So why not? So thank you for your time. Can I, ask, can I ask you a question? Can I ask a question really quick? Yes. Have, have you experienced any brown water yourself in Southgate? No. Okay. Um, and just, just to reiterate, regarding the, 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 um, the limits of the test, we, we up here every day. Don't, don't know any more than you do, actually. Um, we, know, we know as much as everybody else. Yes. Okay. But something that you know is all the work that you are doing. What TJ, you, you have said is amazing, right? But the people living here, they don't know that you are doing all these things. So uh, putting, putting all this information that everyone who lives here knows that you are doing that is very important. And I think that you should announce this in a way that everyone knows. Absolutely. And second, we, we need to work as a community in order, if we have resources, I'm, I'm, th I'm thinking, right? If we have the mound, if we have scientists living here in this community, can we do something to help, right? Can we volunteer? Do you need that help? I, I don't know, right? Um, something that I do know is, um, sorry, uh, is that um, can we also do, uh, I, I, that is maybe a question for you, that um, are other towns or places that they are having these problems, how they solve this problem or is, is something that um, do we have a cost benefit the, analysis? The unfortunate answer yeah. is every town does the same thing. It doesn't matter what state you look up, what municipality, the solution for brown water at all times is flush the hydrants. Yeah. And it doesn't matter Virginia, Pennsylvania, Vermont, Maine, Wyoming, Idaho. I, I think I've Googled and done research on like 37 states and this the answer yeah, from everyone is flush the water flush the water flush the water flush the water yeah okay so that's the unfortunate answer yeah it seems and, like it's, yeah we need to do something more than that correct and i yeah. i don't i don't it's, disagree with you and i think that's where the discussions have been with the county as well as talking to developers about some of the other hmm. ideas and solutions as to what has happened in other communities and how they've solved those problems yeah Thank you very much. But they thank, do thank test you. the water over there. Yeah, if I can answer that just briefly, yeah. we do we do testing. We send testing out to Catoctin Labs monthly. We spend between twenty five hundred and three thousand uh, monthly on just routine testing through the 
talked in labs. I can't tell you exactly what they test for every month. That's something I can get the information out at a later date. Um, we do testing in-house every single day. We have uh, manifest logs that are kept, and we did release that information. Um, we've released it on Facebook, on website. Um, unfortunately, Channel 9, you're limited. Um, Alert Frederick, if anybody has not signed up for it, please sign up for Alert Frederick. Um, we are we're working harder to get that information out. Can I ask you a question about that? Mm -hmm. It seems like the problem is not in the source where the, the water is treated, but is from there to where we receive the water. So we do test we, we, we water test in, in town. Different places. Wait, that we do important. test and in town at different places. We do test at different places in town monthly that's sent off to the labs. That is. So it's not just at the water okay, plant. Good. There are specific locations in town that they also pull samples from. And that's just a monthly routine testing. Um, we did and, additional and, and testing. The, in order to connect this with the communication, are you communicating these things? So yes, we did. We put it out on Facebook. We, are, we put it on website. We put as much information on 99 as we could. We're starting to get the alert Fredericks out. Um, I don't know how else to get the information out. You know, there's only, yes, fine, you know, and that's, that's where we need the public to they have some sort of ownership in becoming informed by either checking our website or checking Facebook or signing up for the Alert Frederick or the email newsletter that goes out every month or the water bill newsletter that hopefully nobody's throwing away because that does contain information too. So as we expect you guys you know, to communicate with us, we are trying to better ourselves with our communication as well. We've come leaps and bounds in the last five years with our ability to communicate and we're gonna to continue to improve. Thank you very much. And don't ever hesitate to call if you have questions. We may not be able to respond right away, but we do our best. We could always change the Saturday noon uh, emergency broadcast uh, alert test to uh, water announcements. Yeah. Mr. Sweeney. Commissioner O'Donnell. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Um, Mr. Ken uh, Dr. Kenyatis, thank you, number one. I, um, some humor. I appreciate the support and the communication piece. I think everybody's aligned on that. Yeah. Um, I, I think moving forward, I don't know if we'll have a workshop or an agenda item, but it will be something discussed. That question came up earlier. Uh, in our next meeting, we, we will certainly follow up with uh, a dedicated certain amount of time to clarify this. One of the things I think that, w that we're looking to do in our process is modify our communication. And it's not just saying that, you know, here's the test results and here are the numbers. I think it's the interpretation of yep. those numbers that we we need to move toward because, um, you know, we, we have a range of readers there and we're trying to meet the needs of the readers where they are. You know, that sounds like a classroom thing. But the other side of it is uh, if the message is unclear, it leads to speculation and perhaps inferences that are incorrect. And our hope is that if we can bring forward the testing results, for example, with some interpretation that's beyond just the statistical analysis, where it's hopefully put into, for lack of a better phrase, plain language, sure. so someone can, can say, okay, this is safe, or we need to be mindful. Yes. Now, I have confidence in staff, okay, um, we are bringing forward safe water, but Again, if one gets what looks like, you know, Hershey milk coming out of their, their spigots, absolutely you got to question it, of course. And therefore, you know, that's where we have to fix the problem, or problems, plural. Yes. So I, I hope that that helps. And the question came up earlier, you know, why wasn't it a meeting item agenda tonight? Um, we set our meeting agendas a month prior. So the, the weight and the momentum of it was, it, it didn't have the inertia it has now. It doesn't mean that we were dismissive of it. I think our actions spoke for that, that, you know, we tried to be responsive. We were in homes, you know, all of us, I know that. Uh, we were at a water distribution event and so on. And I'm not going to, to that piece, but um, moving forward, yes, it certainly is going to be in the forefront of meetings and discussions. And um, so everybody has more of a comfort with what's coming forward communication-wise and more of a process. I think what, what what events in town related to water users or who's using water and what amounts and there's a risk of a trigger to sediment. Um, I think we're seeing that now with these um, alert Frederick messages. Uh, and to reiterate what um, Mr. Burns said and Ms. Willett said, uh, there is a burden is on we as citizens that we, we got to sign up for these things. Um, I'm a Luddite. I hate technology. Um, uh, my carrying a cell phone is like an, an homage to my family, you know, not being an idiot. So. Um, I get that. I get that alert. I've signed up for it. I get it. 
and it is useful to me. And if there are others out there who don't like technology, I respect that. But this is a tool that will serve us, you know, in that two-way street thing. I'll be quiet. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. President, just two yes, things real quick. Um, yeah, to touch on that, what Mr. Dobson said earlier, perhaps I was going to suggest that this evening. You know, hindsight's twenty twenty now, but next month, just to have a standing agenda item, water update, you know, water quality update. Yeah. Um, the next question is for Ms. Willits. It was as I was asked earlier, you probably don't have it readily available, so maybe we can put it online. Uh, the question was asked this evening. There's reference to like where the water's coming from. It comes off the mountain, it flows into uh, Brookfield, or this this particular line flows into Pembroke. Do we have that readily available? We could put online just a. It, there, it's on very large um, water and sewer improvement plans okay. that are approved through document. I'm talking four by three. Yes. Maybe not four by three. That's a little much. But they're very large yes. um, plans. Um, that it's, there's some areas that, you know, Commissioner Burns sat in a meeting. We don't know the flow of water exactly because these these in certain areas, certain areas we okay. do that are so old that we don't know. And um, as we're going through, we're learning and, and making notes of where this are, where these things are. Um, I don't know that we'd be able to put that up on the website. If somebody had a particular question, they could certainly email us. And, and obviously, we don't want to put our water and sewer plans out on the Internet. Okay. I, I, and I, I, it's a safety I think concern. it was more of a question this evening while we're talking about it to look at it. But I don't think they're readily available to, to put up Not, on the um, – okay. Oh, up there? No. Okay. No. But if somebody had a particular question about their residence, they certainly could email or, or give us a call and, you know, we'll do our best to explain it to, you know, to them. But as far as, you know, um, public, you know, publicizing the plans for particular developments and such, it's certainly not recommended. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. I just have something for staff. Um, it's another one of those things we can't do. How do we get something put on the agenda that comes up that is a, an emergency that we need to talk about, such as the water problem? So you go ahead, that, uh, Mr. Davis. That could go through the president of our board. So, Mr. Sweeney, if we brought something to him, and if the mayor signs off on it, the president has that within his authority to add an agenda item. Um, it's there's also an advertising requirement related to that, though. So we have that cut off as well. Okay. Right. Well, typically they they recommend that you have a week's notice. So um, a week prior to um, the town meeting, the agenda needs to be finally set. It's not a practice they encourage right. because you vote on your agenda items in a public meeting and you're adding things um, to it without it being voted on at a public meeting. However, it can be done. Oh no needs to be done a week ahead of time right because this this could, can all can almost fall into a public safety emergency and it's something we just can't wait on to the point where i'm not willing to wait another month i think we got to have a special workshop a within workshop, two weeks yeah. and, and and address this stuff and, and get staff here i want to know what the tar stuff is you know <laughs> yeah that's first i heard there was tar and that not people tar. were well, whatever it is, it's something that's not supposed to be in somebody's water, you know, and I hope you all understand that the problem that we are facing uh, in the last two people that spoke, it only hits your place on, on East Main Street, and we only have one, one place in Southgate. So that's what really has us puzzled. Why is it, why is it picking your house? You know, it doesn't make any sense. It's just, and that's what has us baffled. Come on up here, Aunt Amanda. That doesn't do us any good. Several houses down from me are stating that they're having brown water, and people are encouraging them to get and call you guys, but the one guy simply stated he doesn't care. I don't know why he wouldn't care. He has two young children. Mm. My water was brown. I'm here. I don't know why, but yeah. the, I just want to state that there are other people saying it. I'm just the only one I feel that's announcing it. Sure. And we thank you for that. That's and, and that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's difficult as we continue to try to pinpoint exactly what's going on if people are not reporting it. So the fact that you did report it and that's our one documented case on East Main Street, that's what we know of, and that's what we're able to react on. So it's we thank you for reporting that, and we appreciate that you do, and we hope other people, you know, see your example and follow you, so that we can try to figure out exactly why it's not affecting every home in town but it's 
being located in, in certain areas. Yeah. And the other thing you got to, you're not going to believe this one, but we've had people reporting bad water that don't live in town. They're not even on our water system. And when we approach them and say, can I come see you, you know, until I quit answering on Facebook, they go, well, I don't live in town. Well, how do you have dirty water then? Well, I don't. I just jumped in on the, the bandwagon. So, you know, there, there's all kinds of issues out there that it's hard for people to believe because they were, the one guy was posting the same picture that had been out for a couple of weeks, and he was just using the same picture over and over again. And we go, well, this isn't your bathtub. Well, yeah, I just posted it, though. So there's, there's a whole bunch of issues out there that, that staff's fighting, and but we need to. Yeah, when I, when I posted that photo, I had a, it was a lot of people yeah. who replied back and said they were having the same. And I know several of them, and like I said, they live right down the street from me and have young children. Yeah. Why they're not reporting on it is beyond me. You owe that to your children. Well, hopefully in two weeks we'll have some results from the things that are going to happen this week. And uh, by reaching out to the county, we'll get some extra help from them. And, you know, maybe we can get together. We will know a lot more after they open up Waynesboro tomorrow. We'll know the significance of the leak, um, where it is. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, if it's under the road, um, all we can do is put a valve on at that point and come back with repairs because it has to go through State Highway because it's under State Highway Road. We're hoping that it's not and it's in our, it's where we can repair it and then we'll go down and fix the one on North Seton Avenue and then we'll have a lot better information. Um, we're drafting letters to FEMA and Provincial House this week in an effort to have better communication at least so we know when they're working and we can give notice out and find out exactly what they're doing. Um, you know, we can only speculate. Um, and then also with the developments, that is that particular area part of the problem and that these other areas such as East Main, West Main, Lincoln are just um, affected because of those areas, because the brown water's coming in from Waynesboro Pike or it's because of these connections in Brookfield. And is it just takes time because it doesn't everybody doesn't mysteriously get brown water at once. It has to feed through the system. So if you're getting brown water later than somebody up here in Brookfield, is it because it's coming from there and it's traveling through the line? And those are all things that, you know, one, the leak detection specialist helps with Two, fixing all these repairs, working with the provincial house and working with the county that we can hopefully pinpoint because this is unprecedented in the 25 years that our director of public works which most of you probably know he's never we've never experienced a problem like this we'll have hit or miss brown water um but never of this magnitude so um we're trying our hardest i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you many sleepless any nights. other questions eric tibner turner turner Goodness gracious, people, right? Terrible. My name is Barrett Turner, and I live at 527 West Main Street. Um, I'm calling, um, coming up today, actually, because I had a very pleasant conversation with Ms. Willits uh, this afternoon, and she recommended that I come and voice my concerns at the meeting tonight. Uh, my wife has called the town offices a number of times over the last several months. Um, and yes, we have brown water, and also water with uh, black flecks in it as well. Um, uh, a filter that would last me one to two months. I've been changing every week uh, for my house. Um, uh, it's been a, a very frustrating time, a time full of fear, frankly. <laughs> I have six small children um, worrying about uh, the water quality for my own children. Um, uh, I don't have a lot of white shirts. I'm not as concerned about those as I am about uh, my family members. Uh, over the last several months, uh, my wife has also developed um, an ailment dealing with her um, stomach lining and intestines, and the doctors have diagnosed her with increased stomach acid. That could be unrelated, but simply because these things are, the water quality issue is prolonged, we have to wonder if her symptoms are not correlated actually with the water rather than something else in her life. Um, uh, one thing that I wanted to say to uh, Ms. Willits today um, the offer to cover any increase in our water bill was generous. Uh, I appreciate that. Um, but what I wanted to relay was the costs um, of an increased water bill are not going to be that high. Uh, even if they were, I, I agree with the gentleman before who said that it shouldn't be something on the town citizens anyway to, to ever cover an increased cost of flushing their own water to get rid of tar flex or whatever they are and, and uh, other sediment. Uh, but the cost of filters, the cost of other things that we have to cover, buying, buying water because we're unsure, we don't trust the, the tap water, um, these are costs that we have to bear 
uh, on top of our, our normal budgets. Um, so those, uh, if the town would consider reimbursing us for filters that we would not normally have to buy to purify our own water, that would be something that I would think would be actually true generosity, uh, or actually maybe just justice on the part of the town. Um, uh, some other things that I, I wanted to ask about was, uh, I'm glad that the town is undertaking more water testing as this problem is undergoing. Is the town testing the water during the times of high turbidity or only after the turbidity is passed? I, I would be more than welcome to have town staff into my house anytime the brown water is actually happening to test my water then and there rather than a day or two later after the flushing has been all completed and everything's back to normal. Um, so uh, I really would uh, welcome town staff into my house anytime, day or night, to test the water during these periods of increased turbidity. 527 West Main Street. Be happy to give my contact information uh, to anyone afterwards. Um, uh, so testing during the times of high turbidity, during the times when there's sediment, that would be interesting data. After it's gone, I mean, it's not really that interesting, I suppose, as far as water quality goes. Um, and then the, the last thing is um, uh, the amount of work that you all have put in, the goodwill, it's, it's evident. The lack of communication, though, I, I didn't hear about any of the work that TJ had put in or anybody else until tonight. Um, so I'm very glad to hear it that there is a breakdown in communication. Um, even with the goodwill, though, it seems like nobody really knows what's going on with the water and why this is being caused. And I'm actually leaving the meeting with less trust in the water supply than I hope to leave with coming into it. Um, uh, I had a town, who are the two gentlemen on the, the call with us today, Ms. Willits? Uh, Mr. Fistel and Mr. Click. And um, one of them suggested that I actually get rid of the whole house filter um, and because the whole house filter was perhaps causing an increased sedimentation in my water. Um, uh, well, after um, the various other things in the water already named, I mean, there's no way I'm going to get rid of my whole house filter for that reason. But there's also been a feeling, you know, everybody's frustrated. Nobody knows what's going on. Uh, there are times when, as, as just a member of the community, um, I felt like the burden is on me to fix my own problem here with my own water, to sign up for a certain alert system, um, to figure out my own filtration. Uh, it's just been very discouraging uh, as far as trust in the town and town governance. So I, I wanted to bring my concerns and also some suggestions about reimbursement for filters, as well as testing during the times of turbidity, uh, rather than just um, random times or once a month. Um, during the times when there's a problem, that would be the most interesting thing for town members to know about. Um, thank you very much for hearing me out. Uh, again, I'm more than welcome any town staff into my house to do any water testing uh, during these times. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Um, one thing I'll address regarding the, the sign-up piece, and maybe, you know, again, communication, the bigger picture. Um, in dealing with the issue, trying to do this in a, I guess, in a judicious manner, we'll hear third-hand information. We'll get it from a Facebook source, and someone will say this, and that gets echoed. And, you know, you're, I hate to say the cliche, the echo chamber, but so, sometimes inauthentic information comes forward. And that's why we're trying to really open up to, to, to hear individuals, not just tonight, but the phone calls which you made. Um, and we're trying to get people to recognize there is value in dealing with town government, dealing with the commissioner, dealing with the mayor, and dealing with staff. Uh, if for only to, you know, your piece of data can help solve arguably the bigger crime. You know, to, to look at it that way. You know, it's like the, the Colombo investigation. One piece might not seem important now, but down the line when we have a cumulative effect of information, we can act on it in a better manner. So that's why we're looking for this information. And, and I, I hate to hear your distrust increasing, and I'm, I'm, I understand it. Um, the other side of it, I'll say anecdotally, I'm one of six kids. I feel your pain in other ways. You know, I get the household and the nature of the household wanting what's best for your young people. You know, I, I'm a parent. I have three of my own. I get it. You know, we, we all do live here. But we all do carry forward this, this notion that we are trying to improve this. We're trying to get it right. And I think what we've heard is we're getting more clues now because, of we're having, because we are having more conversations. Um, for town staff, to their credit, um, in conversations with staff members, um, for those who have careers in this industry, we'll say, I mean, this board here, we're all temps. 
okay? You know, we're here trying to serve what's best for the community and using our best judgment. But using the professional judgment of the individuals who are there in the field, when they're coming forward and saying, this is completely new to them, we have to support them in saying, okay, we need to get everyone to kind of shift their paradigm, expand their investigations, and, and, and narrow down what the possibilities are. So it is frustrating, and, and I appreciate that, but the, uh, my hope is that beyond a sincerity of effort, there is real genuine effort toward closing this case, to getting this right, to fixing this. So um, I hope there's some reassurance in that to you, other than you know, walking away more distrustful. So I hope that's the case. I, I certainly feel uh, listened to and that the commissioners and the town staff are receiving everybody's complaints. But um, I, I guess the distrust is just nobody knows what's happening. And yet we still have to live in our houses and drink our water and bathe with our water and do whatever else we would normally do. Um, or maybe we need to go buy, buy water from the outside and bring it in. I mean, that's, that's, the, that's what I mean by the element of distrust is not, not the lack of goodwill, or a maliciousness? Not at all. No, I, I, Not I at all. Either. Just nobody has any idea, it seems. Uh, maybe we're narrowing it down towards certain things, but let's say we open up Waynesboro Pike and, well, that fixes maybe something, but right. not everything, and then we're still looking. Correct. Well, that's the nature of it, though. We go, we go from, you know, we live from day to day, you know, we go from problem to problem in solving them. So, you know, these, um, our, our team, I, you know, to characterize it, they're pit bulls. I mean, they, they're not going to give up on this, so. I hope you don't. Thank you. Sure. Um, I have one question. Do you, how much do you pay for your filters? So uh, yeah. uh, normally a $7 filter would last me a month or two, but I've been replacing those every week. So now, I mean, I've been replacing three, four more filters just in the last month than we would normally do. Do you I buy mean, them in a case at a time? I buy them um, not in a case, but, you know, from Lowe's and packs of two. Oh. Um, Has that been helpful? Has that been effective in... Well, like with the brown, or the black flex, for example, um, those stop at the filter. Okay. Uh, those stay within the, you know, the, the kind of simple plumbing whole house filters that you can attach to the line pretty close to the source. Um, uh, oftentimes they'll have translucent or transparent plastic case that the filter, that uh, seals the filter into the line. Um, I can see the black flex in there. I don't see them coming out of my tap, as far as I know. Now I haven't opened the uh, aerator on a tap, maybe I should, and look in to see if those, those flex sure. are making it past the filter. But it looks to me like it's stopping some of the more troubling sediment. But also, um, my water isn't as brown as others mm -hmm. because my filter turns white to almost um, like dark blood red or black even. I mean, truly just red mm -hmm. because it's catching the rust and the other um, metal corrosion that's in the line. Okay. So it's better than others, but that's because I have the filter on. Now, over time, we experience a drop in water pressure because of that, because of the the, oh, filter, the filter, right? Okay. Um, uh, and that's how we that's how we first were uh, clued into this is the water pressure was dropping much sooner than it would otherwise, and we went down to investigate and sure enough, um, right. and then everyone else started talking about the brown water. So gotcha. Now, um, the brown water has always been there for us. The filter catches it. And again, you know, it's like a month or two. These are filters that are billed to be three to six month filters. Now we use more water sure. in a typical household, so I don't expect it to last what it would be on the, the label. Sure, sure. But to um, go from a month or two to a week, I mean, it's pretty dramatic sure. uh, decrease in filter life yeah, yeah. in that regard, just in, in the last couple months. Thanks. Okay. All right, thanks. Thank you. Theology. All righty. Um, Diane Wahlbecker. Hi. <clears throat> Diane Wahlbecker, 535 West Main Street. I live right next to Barrett. And we were just talking. You guys do have a problem because I don't have any brown water at all in our house and we live next door. So I really wish you guys good luck in solving this. Um, and I think it is important that people come forward and say whether or not they've had any problems because that could help you get to the bottom of it. But I certainly don't understand why, why that would be the case. 
But I just, I, I always sign up for public comments. Do you no have a filter what, on so. your house, Diane? <laughs> I just yeah. figured I'd, I'd Do you have a filter what? on your house? No. No. No filter. And that's just as important as you letting us know that you have clear water while he has brown water. My yeah. neighbor has filters and they're backing up. And I don't have a filter and I've never, ever had a problem. So we, that's the dilemma is the rhyme or reason why it's hitting one house and you why it's, a filter, it's not going to catch anything. If you got a filter, it's going to catch it. Right or wrong? Mr. Sweeney. Yes. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, Mr. Sweeney. Um, Diane. No. What? Are, are you finished? Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> Thank you, Diane. Do you, uh, anybody else have any uh, comment? Did not sign up on the sheet. Would you like to comment, sir? Oh, okay. Hard enough. Can I just uh, add one thing? Sure. Mr. Can come up here to the podium, please. I hear multiple people saying they don't have a problem and I'm really curious to know, like I just asked her, if she's filling a tub. If you don't fill a tub, you can't see it in a pitcher, you can't see it in a glass, you can't see it in, in something small, you have to fill your tub. And when you do, I have pictures weekly of our tub that is, it looks like swamp water. And if I filled it in a glass, you'd be like, sure, I'll drink this water. Fill your tub. Fill your tub. You will see it. I have a picture uh, my husband sent me when he got home of the black flex and of the green murky water. But you have to fill your tub. She said she doesn't. So I'm just curious how many people aren't filling their tubs to uh, see. So that means you, um, you don't, when you draw your water, it's not dirty until you fill your tub. You don't yeah, see you it. Have to, yeah, you have to have it in multitude to see the the clarity and you can see it then okay. yeah you can't see it in a glass okay. diane come up to the podium i just remembered my son gives my grandson a bath at least two times a week so i'll ask him <laughs> he's never said anything about it but i'll ask and let you guys know <laughs> please give your name and your um erin olasek i live on 1405 ramboa drive in brookfield um we, I was saying, telling people I'm a stay at home mother. So sometimes I know there's brown water before other people get home and say that there's brown water, but you do have to fill your tub. But my toilet water is also brown. I fill glasses at the sink, but I'm also using water more because I'm home. Um, I fill glasses. I wouldn't drink it. You could never convince my children to drink it. We've lived here since 2004 and we've always off and on had brown water, the black flex in the tub. Um, but prior to this break since October, it was because the town was flushing lines or work was being done over behind the school. So there was a reason. And it is way more, happening way more now. Um, and not only with the filling of the tub, ruined laundry, the same things that everybody else was saying. Okay. So Thank that's just my two cents. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes. <coughs> We're trying to get all the information we can because we're trying to understand where, why some have it and some don't. You don't have to fill a tub. I'll first give your um, name and your... I'm Mary Bly, 1317 Huntley Circle. Okay. And this is my dog's water. Mm. You don't have to fill a tub. Okay. Right, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can I ask a general question? Yeah, thanks. I'm just going to throw it out there to everybody. Over the Christmas holiday, before the 31st, was everybody's water clean? We weren't hearing anything over the Christmas holidays. It's been terrible since mid-October, and it hasn't gotten any better. Yeah, do we keep emailing if it's never better? That's the thing. I've sent emails to, like, Okay, so if we, it, so yours is still green. Your water's still green, huh? No change. They, after they run it for five hours down the street. Since October to present day. And we don't contact every time either. If it happens once initially and it's still that way the next day, we're not calling. My husband's not sending the picture every single day. Yes, sir. Give your name. And your May I interject, Commissioner Sweeney? Yes. Um, we have an agenda item for an audit presentation. Can we go ahead and postpone that so I can have our auditors uh, leave and we'll come oh, back? Oh, no. Stay with us. This is. <laughs> um, it's. 
Is everybody okay with all leaders coming back? Just one question. Do we have any fiscal, oh, sorry, do we have any state level requirement to put this forward at this time? No. No. Great. Mr. Sweeney, I have no issue with it personally. Um, tickles me to death. Okay. That's fine. Um, they will come back next month? Or will we have a special we'll meeting? February. Yes, February. I'll put them on the agenda. Okay. I'm sorry about that. The, we're trying to fix. Uh, it, we're trying to get all the concerns, and we're trying to figure out where all the stuff's coming from, because everybody's learning different stuff every day. Uh, can I have your name and, and uh, your yeah, address, Kevin please? Ball. I live right here in Southgate. Um, my concern is similar to what my neighbor here was talking about: is how are you guys going to compensate us? I don't know though. This filter right here, the white one. Brand new. The brown one, oops, five days old. Mr. Ball, it's good. Could you show us two? Now how many be... I bought okay. these? Probably 10 since October. Okay. They're supposed to last three to six months. And what's your street address in South Cape? Just curiously. 318. Okay, 318. Yeah. On right South across Cape. the street from TJ. Terrific. Okay, great. And uh, have your neighbors had the same problem that you've had? Absolutely. Great. Okay. And you said since the start of October? Did I hear that right? Mid-October. Okay. And has it been the same degree of uh, Absolutely. filling up the filters, Absolutely. using up the filters? Okay. Wow. Well, th Mr. Ball, I spoke with so you. I got my quarterly bill today, and I got a $25 discount. So the bill that I got on uh, last quarter of uh, 2019, it was... <laughs> It's about $85 more expensive than any water bill I've ever had since I've lived here for six years. And it stated I used over 5,000 more gallons than I've ever used. Did, did we figure out if you had a leak? Was there, was there an investigation oh, to see yeah. if there was a leak? Yeah, I've had, uh, I've had the people from the town come to my house probably five times. Okay. There's no leak. There's no leak. There's no leak. Commissioner Ritz, if I can interject, that's not been confirmed that he does not have a leak. Okay. There's no leak. Um, if there was a leak, there'd be a puddle of water in sir, my yard. There'd exactly. be water running down my walls, Here. my basement. Talk Mr. Ball, you need to speak to the board, yeah, and uh, we'll speak on, all on your their behalf. Understand. Oh, but we want to hear what you have to say. Yeah, so yeah. my main concern is compensation. How am I going to be compensated for your all's water that you're giving me that I can't drink, I can't give my pets, it's not safe to be around, I have to buy filters, Overcharge on my bill. What are you guys going to do? I don't. I do not want a kick a can down the road answer. What are you going to do? I don't know that we can answer directly without looking at policy. But number one, you're here, so here's what I can tell you. Um, if staff has come forward with information that there's still information that's undetermined regarding whether there's a leak or not, that's something that we would have to chase down. Once that's factually determined. Your officials determine there's no leak after two visits to my house okay. looking for a leak. So if we have that if we have that in hand and that's confirmed, which contradicts it's been what, confirmed. Well but it contradicts what I've just heard from the town manager. Okay. So once that's, you know, absolutely confirmed. She can sit there and say there's a leak in my house all day long. Your town officials have been to my house to look for a leak two different times. There's no leak. There's no puddle of water in my basement. There's no water puddling outside. There's no leak. Okay. Bear with what I'm saying. So, based on the fact that's been put in front of me from her, I'm also listening to you. Mm -hmm. I have two contradictory pieces of information. So, once we have, as the board, conclusive evidence, then we refer to what policy says. How are we going to get it? How are we going to get what, please? A conclusive answer. Well, we determine whether there's a leak, there is a leak or not. Be, they've been to my house two times I, I, already I, I, and sir, determined there's no leak. Mr. Ball, truly, I, I understand what you're saying. Okay. Are you a plumber? I'm not. Okay. Nor am I. Nor, a 40 okay. year plumber and he's looked in my house. Okay. All right. A master plumber. Okay. So, okay. So, so you have a very good source on that. Okay. Absolutely. But at the same time, as a group here, we have to defer to town staff. Okay, so I'm not I'm not saying you're yeah, not telling. I'm it. telling you, town okay. staff's been my house twice to look for it, and there's no leak. But a moment, oh, three but times. a moment ago, I heard from the town manager who said something contradictory right, to Kathy, that. Kathy, come on over. Let's look at the leak. Uh, well, sir, sir, just uh, I address it. So, right? so, so here I'm I'm trying to give you a sort of a, a chain of events that we can pursue. Okay, so 
let's accept that issue, just there is an issue there. We don't agree on that based on the facts. So once the board hears conclusively, let's say that there is a leak, okay? Okay, well, how are we well, going to get conclusive hold on, hold on, evidence? Hold on, let me finish, please. So let's conclude, let's say that there is a leak. This is hypothetical, okay? We look to see the accountability for the leak, we address the leak. Other side of it, let's say there's no leak and there's some other issue. There's overbilling, as you said, or there's some other problem. Then the town will take action at that time. But until we achieve that information, where, where, where we as a board have some understanding, then we, we can't say, hey, right now we're going to solve this problem, as much as we'd like to, honestly. I mean, I don't want anybody here to suffer. I don't think anybody on this board wants to. Honestly, you don't I'm done to. having your townspeople come to my house because okay. they've been to my house six, seven times, two times look for a leak okay. and nothing. Okay. Okay. I, I'm with you. I understand uh, you. I, I get it. I'm done. I'm done dealing with you guys. It's more kick the can down the road. So back to my main question, how am I going to be compensated for the filters and the, all the flushing in my house? If, dollars. I want to hear dollars. How are you going to compensate? If, uh, I can't answer that then. Commissioner O'Donnell. Sir. Uh, yes. Commis uh, Kathy. Uh, yes, sir. Um, when we did the Paul Street, I don't know if you were here, I think we compensated for filters when, when we had the problem with the Paul Street. This problem is never going to go away. Do you understand that? I know you have a problem, but every you single town. Frederick County knows about this problem, and the, our property values are going to continue to go down until this gets fixed. I understand that, sir. I work in water 40 years myself. Good. I put the big pipes in the ground before you get your little pipe took to, to your house. Um, I've seen the pipes. All, all the towns have it. The brown water we can't give it. We're trying to, to isolate the problem why, it's, why the silt's getting disturbed the way it is. But the, we have older pipes that are cast iron through town that are, are is what the rust and, and, and the uh, discolored water is coming from. Not from your new lines that you have. Well, it, it's everyone's problem. We're trying to deal with that, but we're trying to, yeah, we're trying to deal with it. We're doing, uh, we're trying to, we are, we really are trying to, and they've been working hard on it and we're going to be ch working hard on it. We're going to have other meetings on it too, to try to get fixed. Mr. We're going to do everything we can. Mr. Paul, let me ask you a question. You have a sick child at home and you take him to the doctor for the first time and the child doesn't get any better. Do you put the child in his room and say, I'm not taking him back to the doctor again. I don't want a second opinion. I don't want, I'm not going to deal with it anymore. That's what it is. We have a sick problem. And by you cutting us off your property, isn't going to let us fix it. We want to, if we were ignoring you, that's one thing. But we're coming every time that you call. We're there. We're trying to fix it. He had just said to me that he wants to have town officials come inspect, right? And come try and find a leak. They've been there twice. All right. Leak. But we might I've bring in. That. We I've might bring that. I've in. I've done everything I could do on my half. What if we I've bring in everything that you've asked? I've communicated no. emails, pictures, Hold everything. On, wait, 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 what if we bring? Wait, 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 wait. What if we bring in a? I'm done. What if we bring in an outside agency? Yeah, I appreciate that, pal. Thank you very much. Um, I was just going to ask we Mr. Do have Ball outside if he has copies of receipts for his filters, but he left the room. So, Dr. Turner, do you uh, apparently you keep uh, receipts for your filters? I can't guarantee the town can do anything, but tell you what, why don't you just email me? I'll see what I can do. Okay, okay thank, thank you. you. Uh, so basically, to reimbursement for filters, that would be a board decision, and that's what I, I told Mr. Turner, and that's why he's here tonight, because that's not something I can do at my right. level. I, I, um, I, but the problem is, is after you know conversations with her, I don't know who has, we don't know who has filters in town. That's, right. that's your prerogative, whether or not you have a filter in, in your house. So that's something that we'll have to figure out how to work through um staff has been to mr ball's house there is a leak it's internal it's his responsibility to figure it out he needs to hire a plumber there are no leaks on the town side not from any of our connections and that's that's what he's been told he acknowledged it last last quarter said well let's wait and see what next quarter brings Next quarter brings, his usage is still high, still indicates a leak. He's been informed of that. And that's, town staff can't do anything with his leak. That's something he has to take ownership of and hire a plumber. Uh, just, I want to just address it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for coming and sharing with us and being civil about it. You all got to see firsthand what we deal with. Uh, with some of our people and it's tough for us it's tough for us our, our our town staff has been 
treated that way. And it just makes it tr- – we're here with it. We want to figure it out. If I could sit here till 3 o'clock in the morning, if we could come up with an answer, I'd be right here with you. But we also – it gets kind of tough when you have people that, that show no respect for – I really don't care about myself, but for our staff. And uh, uh, so thank you all, for the ones that are remaining, for being civil about this. And I'm, I'm one of five people in the world that don't have Facebook. So um, – <laughs> You know, I, I, I don't maybe, – maybe I should. <laughs> I guess maybe I'll so see Maybe more. if they can get comments. Um, you never know. If you have filters, uh, receipt filters and stuff uh, for your filters, bring them in, and, and we'll see what we can do about them. Because um, I'm pretty sure – And please back let in Mr. The early Ball 90s, know that I just threw it out street. there, but I don't know if anybody's yeah. – Until we get the water I, I situation. Can't him. What if we don't have Next. water filters on our house? How do we get compensated then? So how's that fair to – the entire residents of Emmitsburg, if you're only going to compensate those with the filters. I really don't think we can make it, uh, give you a good answer without talking legally, what we can, we're allowed to do legally. So we're going to need to bring our town attorney in. That's why we need to have a special meeting with our town attorney being here. I don't want you guys, to make, a, to, yeah. I don't want you guys to make some think, decision yeah. up here no, I, and I, only no, no. a quarter of the process. residents get compensated. Right. It's process, process, yeah. process. Okay. And that's, right. So uh, just thank you for equitable coming. process. Thank you. Yeah. We can no longer wait. I'm, try, I'm confused about the leak versus not leak. I'm just hearing this. Um, if we could invite you up to the sure. dais, to the podium, sorry. I'm just, can, I'm just trying to figure it out because I think his issue was with, and maybe I'm wrong, but was with the brown water and everything, not so much the usage. So if he's coming about the brown water, then why is he being singled out for having a leak? Well, he has two separate issues. So initially, um, we, I know, so. <laughs> it's okay. Um, initially, we um, uh, dealt with him over his brown water. And then um, one of his comments was his high usage. So then when we look back on his previous bills, he does have high usage, and this was the quarter prior to any of the brown water issues. So he was notified at the end of September, his September, September quarterly bill, that he has high usage that indicates a leak based off his prior usage years, uh, quarters. And that's something we, t- we t- uh, routinely do. Our system will kick out something that appears to have high usage above and beyond. So he, so in the midst of helping him with his brown water issue, we went out and said, "You have. It, it appears you have a leak." Yes, town staff did minimal checks on all, all all our lines and minimal checks on his toilets. But you can't determine a toilet leak without really investigating it. And we, he was told, "You have you have a p- possible leak, maybe in your ice maker, maybe in your toilet." Um, and he says. I'll keep an eye on it. We'll reevaluate next quarter. So it's two separate issues. His brown water and the excessive usage are two. Because his usage from flushing. No, his his usage is was exactly the same in September as it is in December. In fact, it went down a little bit. Okay. So there, it's two separate issues. And that's why I brought it up. I, I didn't mean to strike a nerve, but um, <laughs> I, I knew that Think. there was a potential leak. That's that's why I addressed that. Okay. All righty, we got through public comment. I uh, thank you all. No, we didn't. Coming. We got to talk about the trees. <laughs> we'll be more than happy to talk about trees. Um, now we're headed on to administrative business. Well, do we have one more Thank item for public one. comment, oh. Mr. Oh, Jack Weller. Weller, yes. yes. Yeah, we, to, we do have another item for. Yeah, the forestry plan, sir. Yeah, forestry plan. Okay, okay that's fine. I, that's agenda item number four. It's the last one. That's fine. So we will postpone. I, no, it's not the last one. No. Oh, it is? No, it's not the last one. No, we have uh, 10 agenda items. <laughs> yeah, it's the fourth one. So we will, um, we will have uh, Michelle and Addie come back for the February meeting. Okay, it's administrative business, we already done. Consent right. agenda, we have none. Okay. Treasury report, yes. <laughs> Treasury report. All right. My apologies. Um, Oh, okay. We're going to take a five-minute break and let everybody get to who wants to leave, leave, and, and then we'll go on with the meeting. Is that okay? I need a motion. I'll make a motion for a five-minute Commissioner O'Donnell. break for parliamentary I procedure. I second. I need a motion. Second by Commissioner Ritz. All in favor, please say aye. 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 